one kind of question that I kind of wanted to also consider is that you have Brazil, obviously it's, it's native ground for you. Um, you have Africa, which is kind of an, a very important connection. We have France, Britain, we have the United States. Um, but I was curious about the other parts of Latin America. Um, what about Spain? Does Spain do anything with regard to the commemoration of the slave of slavery, the slave trade? I mean, considering they, they are the first ones bringing slaves to, to the Americas, it's like would be mm -hmm. like, duh, you should do something. Um, um, Venezuela, Peru, Cuba. Um, what what do we have in that part? I, it kind of was. I was curious because um, it wasn't in the book. Maybe I'm suggesting in the next book to you here. <laughs> Yeah, I had in the in a previous book of 2014, I had a chapter that dealt with uh, these monuments celebrating enslaved rebels, and many of them they are in the Caribbean. Mm. And I would say that the British Caribbean and um, especially then and also Cuba, uh, these are places where uh, there has been commemoration associated with uh, slavery and the Atlantic slave trade. Uh, then uh, in Cuba with the, the revolution of 1959, when uh, the symbol of the slave rebel is associated then with the, the spirit mm. of the, the revolution, then in a number of um, uh, monuments uh, were unveiled. Uh, there are, of course, uh, plantations that became uh, museums as well. We have that in the Dutch Caribbean. Um, and in particular in the British Caribbean, there are these monuments celebrating slave rebels Then the British Caribbean and in Venezuela and in Mexico as well, um, that celebrated the rebels. And in the British Caribbean, it's associated with uh, the movements of independence. Again, mm -hmm. it's a second liberation then at the end of the slavery with the, 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 the rebels being the symbols, which is not the case here in the United States. Then here in the United States, uh, then as far as I remember, the only rebel that we have is Denmark Vesey, that is a monument that was unveiled in Charleston just a few years ago. Then there is this commemoration, there, there are holidays, there are festivals, I would say in the Caribbean. In Latin America, Venezuela also is a place where this tradition um, where the, 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 all this commemoration became more accentuated when uh, Hugo Chavez came to, to power uh, with um, uh, then monuments to, to rebels as well. But I don't know what is happening in Venezuela now. Then ima imagine that under the, the of course, that the populations of African descent were empowered uh, over these last two decades. But I believe that in terms of the, the landscape of commemoration, uh, it's not uh, strong because of all the, the economic crisis. I don't know what is happening in Peru. Um, I know, for example, that in places such as Argentina, there, ha that there has been debates. Argentina, a place that many people don't think about, uh, is slavery associated with Argentina, but not with the uh, monuments, but much more in terms of uh, debates regarding this history, uh, then the conferences, uh, uh, then black groups organizing themselves to uh, then to, to tell the, the, the history of this um, uh, of slavery and the Atlantic slave trade. And then we have in the case of Portugal and Spain, the most interesting cases perhaps then this no longer in Latin America, but in the Iberian Peninsula, which is um, that are associated first Portugal as the, the one that is started in the Atlantic slave trade uh, going to Africa, the Spain, uh, the Spanish uh, bring into the Americas and Portugal after along with Brazil being the, the, the nation that uh, then imported the largest number of enslaved Africans, then uh, almost uh, 5 million. Now, Spain is interesting because there is uh, a monument, and I think that this is in the book, there is a monument that was of a slave trader, which was removed then about uh, two years ago. Uh, then this is an interesting, uh, then it was part of all that uh, wave uh, then uh, that we see in uh, Britain, in South Africa regarding roads must fall. Then mm. it was by that time, I'm not saying that it was associated, but it was by the time that the monument was removed. 
Now, when a monument is removed that way, we can always ask uh, if this is not, it is not in terms of acknowledging this past, but rather to get rid of uh, right. this past in that particular case. Uh, in Portugal, it's interesting because there, are, there were several debates and uh, interventions this summer with uh, the, the existing monuments, especially one of the um, a Jesuit priest that was unveiled just a few years ago. But uh, Portugal is slowly recognizing this past. Five years mm -hmm. ago, it was not the case. They discovered now a cemetery in Lagos that is, uh, was a, a first, uh, one of the first sites where enslaved people from Africa were brought then to the Iberian Peninsula. Then there we had a, an auction and there was a, a cemetery that is not a cemetery, the name, it was a sort of, um, then, um, then the, it was a sort of trash where the, the people were, the, the, the bodies were disposed. And this was discovered a few years ago. They didn't do anything with that, uh, but they unveiled a museum that is uh, where the, the marking, then where the, the slave market was. Hmm. And in Lisbon, as a result of the activity of uh, activists uh, then organized around associations, there is a memorial that is going to be in Lisbon, not in a hidden place, not in a distant neighborhood. It's going to be then uh, along the, then, the, then facing the, the river. And mm. this, is a mon uh, this is a memorial that there was a contest, it's going to be financed by the city and uh, the population voted for the design of the memorial and the population voted to give to a lot, uh, to give uh, uh, to how can i say to have a budget for that particular memorial but of course as everywhere this is one of the forces in play but i would say that there is progress being made that wasn't there 5 years ago okay. well that's great <clears throat>